So yesterday we talked about how uh, biblical relationship we have to establish. We had an uh, introductory part. Today I will continue for the best. So in the day two of uh, biblical relationship, uh, biblical guidance for a right relationship, we are going to talk about how this wrong relationships also been established, how right relationship has to be established. I will start with a quote. Society is, society is composed of families and is what the heads of the family make it. Out of the heart are the issues of the life and the heart is and the heart of the community, of the church and of the nation is the household. The well-being of the society, the success of the church, the prosperity of the nation depends upon the home influence. Uh, this is a powerful quote written by Alan White in Ministry of Healing, page number 349. You see, out of the hearts are the issues of the life. Like that, out of the family are built the society, the success of the church, and the prosperity of the nation. So Saturn well knows if he captured the heart, that is the family, he can destroy the society, and of course the church, and of course a nation can be ruined. That's why Satan, with all his mighty power, attack the relationship. The family. See another quote uh, from Message to People, page 455. Saturn is busily engaged in influencing those who are wholly unsuited to each other to unite their interests. To ex execute in this work, uh, for by it, it can produce more miseries and hopeless woes to the human family than by exercising its skills in any other direction. So this is an inspiring words and it has been inspired by God. So it is a very true statement. Saturn has so much of strategies, so much of deceitfulness, so much of um, snars. But among all his methods, the most successful method for him is to join two, two people who are not ready to be joined or who are not really united uh, with their own interests. When he joins two people, he can bring so much of miseries and hopefulness who's to the human family. Um, I don't want to expand this and I hope you all will understand. So if, if this is a situation, heart are the, out of the heart are the issues of the life, out of the family or the well-being of society, the church and the nation is there. So Saturn attacks the family. What was the result? There was so much of uh, results we can see that is unnatural uh, marriages are there, interreligious marriages there, unholy marriages, forbidden marriages are there, homosexuals, polygrams, adultery, and marriage becomes an, like an, a contract, right? And spouses have been used like in a property, and there is divorce and there are remarriages. And we know this is one of the signs of last day, last days. So Saturn has attacked the family, and this was the result. On the other hand, I want to say one interesting things. Man was not made to dwell in solitude. He was to be a social being. Like say, uh, you and me have been created to be in a social being. But when we try, try to create a good society without Christ, because we are social being, we definitely try to create a society around us. We try to build a big castle around us with a lot of people. Like we are, we, we, we love relationships. That's why we do this. The fallen nature is so deceitful and we try to do it in so many ways. I will just put some examples from the uh, Bible. You see how, what Absalom did. So Absalom just he went and uh, hugged people and made obeisance to the people. And then he said, you have a right cause. And then by doing this, he stole the heart of the men of Israel. You see how Absalom established relationship. So it is completely deceitful manner. Like I said, the way the Saturn does and what, what was the result? Because he created a huge network, what happened? They were planning to overthrow the king who has been appointed by the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I will go with another example of Pilate and uh, Herod. Like say, um, Pilate sent Jesus to Herod, and Herod in turn returned Jesus to Pilate. And by doing this, what they did, they made uh, the same day Pilate and Herod were made friends together. So by doing a wrong thing, even they made a friendship. So that's possible. Like I'm, I'm just explaining how this human nature tried to build a, a big society around us. We try to influence people. Like, and we want some people to give us like, and we want 
people we want a people we want in a society we want as community so we try to do it and uh, as prophecy also says like say they were trying to mingle the men, seed of men with another another group right we know in the, from the histories of children of israel they tried by uh, mingling uh, the sons of man and the daughters of man so that they can have uh, you know, established kingdom but that all are failed we know it and what about the story of this uh, vasti and uh, john the baptist so why uh, the things uh, what she was doing and why john the baptist was uh, being added it's all because the king who sat on the throne and the people around them he want the people around them to be with him right so he took a rash decision so not only in this worldly worldly point of view there is a lot of things even in spiritual point of view that people try to create a good community say like when uh, jesus talked about the hypocrites and the true and the false uh, method of giving alms and then prayer and then fasting we say like say the people do this all these things because they want to have the glory of men they want the men as to be see them how they love to stand um, in synagogues and in the street corners and pray and of course paul said now this i say that every one of you say that like i am paul and i am of apostle follows and uh, of tefas uh, sorry uh, that is peter and i of christ say there was so much of division like say so much of division either it is created naturally because of the fallen people or it it has been done purposefully so we know all these things will fail we know all these things fail certain as so much of varieties to capture the relationship or the heart of the community or the church or the society so it does all means i can keep on adding a lot of methods but let me go to the what is the right method of establishing a relationship because you and me being in a social being we do want a, a society around us and we built it we built it but if this is not built based upon the biblical principle i say as babylon is going to fall this also will fall one day so how to build uh, on a good uh, foundation the warmth of true friendship the love that binds heart to heart is a fourth taste of the joy of heaven it's from adventist home so this is how we have to build i'm going to talk about a five simple points how we can build a relationship either it's a relationship between a man and a woman or an husband and wife or between two friends or the church community or any other circle like we can apply that in any other circle see proverbs 17 7 says a man a friend loveth at all time so if at all you want to have maintain a relationship that should be based upon love because this love stands for ever and ever so if at all we uh, develop a relationship based upon how people going to respond to it how people going to react to it like say if i do this they will may love me or not so if i built on that principle i say that will not stand forever because love is an a permanent power and it cannot be destroyed so if you and me are lacking this love we have to ask god god please plant this heavenly love in my heart because god is love only by god planting this love uh, plant in our heart we can grow that love so it is we have to check whether why i love others uh, either like uh, absalon or it's like on a uh, biblical principle then um, prop 1824 says a man that has a friend must show himself friendly okay this is an another interesting principle it says if at all you want to be a friend you have to become a friend so there are people like say they were deceiving others to involve that people into into them they do good for others just to have uh, that group of people with with them right so so all say man also deceive and a woman and woman also deceive and a man but if you want to be a friend you have to show yourself as enough as a friend this is an interesting quote from adventist home page number 430 life is what we make it life is what we make it if we give smile they will return to us if we speak pleasant cheerful words they will be spoken to us again so it's all up to us like how we do it we know the story what happened to the end of absalon we know the story of pilot and herod we know like say when there was a division among the church because of uh, apollo or uh, paul or christ or peter like say what happened the satan uses this very powerfully to destroy the message the gospel message but if we give a smile it will return to us if we speak pleasant words that's why i say like say if at all you want to become a friend you want to establish a friend you have to be a real friend you have to be a real friend the third point 
Proverbs twenty seven nine. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So do it the sweetness of the man's friend by heartly counsel. This is an very interesting part. Say any relationship will stand only when we give counsel and take counsel. If at all we give a one way traffic, that is only I will give an a counsel, but I may not take the counsel, then we know it will fall. In fact, like God told to the Lavadi Church, Church, I give counsel, right? Buy this, take this, buy this. He is telling. So yesterday we saw, if at all Bible was needed as a counsel, if at all if divine guidance should be sought in prayers, it is before taking this step that is binding of two people in marriage. That is Patriarchs and Prophets, page number one seventy five. So it's very important to have counsels. So. Let us check our attitude, right? If at all I don't have an, a listening attitude, if at all I don't give an ear for what others say, and if at all, like say, I, I'm I'm just throwing my own view, like how the family will be established. That's how Saturn captures the family. Don't think Saturn comes with a very big uh, thing to destroy the family, like say uh, an immoral life or like say out of marital relationship. Uh, yes, that is there. But majority, it just captures by putting the ears dumb, not listening to the others cry, and then they're ooh, okay. And then I'm going to the next point, uh, fourth point, Proverb twenty seven six, faithfulness of the wounds of friend, faithfulness of the wounds of friend. So it is very important to be faithful till the end. If at all a person is going to commit in a relationship, and they have to be faithful till the end. Jesus committed a relationship with us, and then he put his hand on the on the on the flower uh, yoke, and then he never turned back. Like say he was so faithful. Like say even unto the death, even unto the uh, death of the cross. So we have to be like this. If at all we want to be in a relationship or or, or enter into a relationship, let us check ourselves whether I'm going to be committed forever and ever. Right? Say faithful. And I'm coming to the last point, and this is a very important point. Better than all the friendship of the world is the friendship of Christ the Redeemer. You see, Jesus Himself has told, "Greater love than no man has this than uh, that a man lay down his life for his friend." And of course, Jesus died for us. So what I'm saying is, if you don't have a relationship with Christ, you don't have a relationship with Christ personally. Okay, then what is the use of building in a big community? And what is the use of building in a family? And what's in a, a building of an, a, a good friend circle? Or in a or in a virtual circle, like maybe like say today in the modern world we have this uh, virtual friends. What's the use? So we know all this is going to fall. So uh, we are believers in Christ, especially those who are looking for marriage and those who are thinking about uh, entering into a family relationship. Think about all these points. There are people in the Bible who established a relationship by a wrong principles, but that didn't stand forever. So generally, people we have the temptation to build our own um, large group of people. Let us not do it. But if at all we want to maintain this uh, or relationship on based upon Bible uh, principle, we have to love them at all time, irrespective of what they do or what they do not do. So if at all we are lacking this love, we have to ask God that God give this love. And then if at all I want to be a friend with others, I have to show myself as a friend. Because if I don't show, that's all. I cannot just get it, get it. And then the friends will listen to the heartly counsel. We have to develop a habit of listening what people say and what people do not say. Also, even sometimes it's like say when we are keeping silence, it also conveys a message. We know how this uh, Jesus was kept silence before Pilate and Herod. And then he conveyed a message that was in a big conviction to to this uh, Pilate and Herod that Jesus was a son of living God. And then the faithfulness we have to have a commitment to be faithful even till the end. And finally, if we don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, there is no use of having relationship with anyone else. We are in believers and other pastors and twenty four seven prayer group. Um, let's all. Have in a uh, the best relationship with Jesus Christ. He's the first and he's the last, and it is the he's the best. Thanks for listening to this message. God bless you all. Amen. Amen.